Good morning, everybody. It's another car show. So today we're going to the Pittsburgh International Auto Show, which to me is one of my favorite auto shows of all time. I absolutely love going there. I go every single year. It's it, it used to be basically the only time I got to take photos and video of cars, especially supercars and stuff like that. So I have it in such a high regard to uh, everything I do. Obviously a lot of that has changed now since, you know, I go to car shows all the time and I see a lot of really awesome builds and really cool cars. But still, I absolutely love the International Auto Show in Pittsburgh because you get to see some different things. I know this year they're going to have a McLaren Senna and a Radical. I think it's called a Radical. I, I don't know. The thing looks amazing. Like, I, I can't believe a car like that even exists. But we're going to go down into there. I'm going to take some photos and video because why not? Why not? So I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys when I hit the road. space you did at World of Wheels. It's kind of funny and yet a little ironic that I got the same parking spot here as I did at World of Wheels and it's about a week since World of Wheels. So it's kind of ironic, kind of funny, but we're finally here. All right, we're going to head into the show. We're going to take some good photos. I actually have my Canon this time. Last time... Last time I did have my Canon, but I didn't have my polarizer for it, so I couldn't take good photos. This time I do. So we'll get ready, we'll head in, check out some awesome cars, and it'll be fun. All right, before I get into the last bit of this video, which is just an overview of the photos I got and stuff like that, I just wanted to just talk about my experience at this year's International Auto Show. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I didn't stay as long as I normally do. I was actually just by myself this time. Normally I'm with like some other people, but this time I decided to just you know, stay by myself and just hang out alone, which is fine. It was just something I wanted to do. I wanted to get some work done, AKA film a lot and get a lot of that stuff done. So uh, that's what I ended up doing. And I didn't stay there for hours like I did at uh, World of Wheels, which is better in a way. 
because I wasn't at World of Wheels. I didn't have to worry about getting photos for clients. I just had to worry about getting photos for portfolio. Just had to, I just had to worry about getting photos for me. I did that. I also went upstairs just a little bit. Um, I mainly spent a majority of my time downstairs around the Galleria Exotica just because I didn't feel like doing much more. So I did go upstairs though. I only checked out basically two cars. Checked out the Alfa Romeo Giulia and I checked out the Kia Stinger. Those were really the only two cars I wanted to check out and look at. They didn't have any Fiat 500 Abarth. Uh, they didn't have, I don't even think they had a regular 500 there. But they didn't have the Abarth. They had the L and the X. They definitely had both of those. I, and the um, 124 Spider. But they did not, as far as I know, have a 500, let alone a 500 Abarth. So um, I don't know what's going on with that. But that was like really weird whenever I saw that, how they didn't have both of those cars there. In, in general, I had a fun time. I did have a fun time. It was pretty cool. Pretty different, but it, it was fun. So without further ado, before I close this video off completely, here are the photos I got. So those were the photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I have some other videos coming out. I have some videos planned. Just have to go through with it with spring coming and then summer right after that. I'm gonna be a lot busier with shoots and stuff so you guys will be able to see a lot more content. There'll be a lot more videos from actual car shows. There will be videos from some clients that I do. I am going to upload if I if the clients are okay with me doing this. I'm going to upload every single edit I make if I do a video edit of their car. I'm going to upload every single one to here. They're going to be in wide angle, 24 frames a second. They're going to be pretty cool. Also, I have some things I'm kind of wanting to get for the channel, um, mainly to help with video and some more Abart content because you guys really seem to enjoy whenever I show my car. Uh, there's a few things I want to do to it to get it ready for spring, but I can't do that until April, which it'll be spring already, which kind of sucks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.